Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I will be talking about some of the makeup mistakes that you are making right now. So in Instagram, I get a lot of DMs about why aren't your makeup looking perfect even after following all of the steps. So if you are among those people, then this video is for you. Just a quick disclaimer that I am no way a professional and these are the mistakes that I have made myself in my life and over the years I have learned from my own mistakes. So that is why I've come up with this video. Enough of my blabbering, let's get straight into the video. So the very first mistake that people often make is applying makeup directly on their face just after washing their face so this is a very very bad habit as even when you are washing your face the pores tend to be open and if you apply makeup on top of it you will break out really really fast so it's always recommended to use a moisturizer or maintain a good skincare then apply makeup on top of it and also if you directly apply makeup after washing the face then you will get a very flaky makeup look and your makeup is not going to look flawless. Next makeup mistake is wrong blending techniques. So this is one of the most most common mistakes that people tend to have. This is actually related to the previous point that if you have dry flaky skin and if you are not taking care of your skin then obviously your makeup is not going to look very good. So application of the makeup is really important you can use a brush you can use a damped sponge you can use your hand but application really matters a lot so if you want your makeup to look very good then just watch some tutorials how to apply makeup first and then jump into the step the next one is always applying concealer most of the people they think that if they want a very good looking skin they need to apply concealer i can say i can say that this is a myth actually you do not need a lot of concealer on your skin when you have flawless skin so uh, for me i mostly don't apply concealer i just apply a little bit of foundation and i think that looks very good and if you are applying a heavy foundation and then applying concealer on top of it then obviously you are going to look very very cakey and your base is not going to look just like your skin it will look like a second layer on the skin so applying concealer is not really necessary all the time you can apply concealer if you have if you have a lot of blemishes on the skin if you really want to hide the blemishes but even if you are applying just go a little bit and don't apply a lot of it next one is doing your brows with only black shadow so this makeup mistake i've mostly seen in indian women as we tend to have black or darker hairs but it is always recommended to use one or two shade lighter than your hair color as you will not look like a clown and also if you are someone who is like me who love to change the hair color in a daily basis then you should always use a different shade of brow product for your brows so so your brow color should change with the color of your hair next one is same shape of winged liner for all the eyes so this makeup mistake is done by everyone i believe a lot of people tend to say that they don't look good in winged liner i being one of them i always told my friends that i never look good in winged liner as i have a hooded eyes so you should understand that everybody looks good in a winged eyeliner but you will have to understand that in which way you should apply the winged liner so that it flatters your eye shape so there are a lot of eye shapes in women some of them are monolid women who are from the north eastern side or chinese women tend to have monolid eye shape usually monolid eye shape don't really have any any lit space so the next one is upturned eye shape upturned eye shape is is the eyes which are pointed upwards they look really flattering and the next one is downturned eye shape downturned eye shape is eyes that are pointing downwards the next one is hooded eye shape this eye shape i personally have hooded eye, eye shape but can you tell that i have a hooded eye shape no right because i have applied my shadow in such a manner that i don't even look like and i have a hooded eye shape 
next is the round eye shape so this is the most uh, flattering eye shape so the next one is almond in almond eye shape you tend to have a narrow tip then broader in the middle and then a narrow tail so each and every eye shape is different and you should apply winged liner according to your eye shape next one is overlining both upper and lower lips so nowadays everyone is really inclined towards kylie jenner lips and we are not really blessed with such lips even kylie jenner herself is not blessed with that kind of lips but if you want a plumper looking lips never ever overline both the upper upper lips as well as lower lips it looks really ridiculous and it looks like a clown you should if you want to overline your lips just overline the upper lips and never overline the lower lips just follow the natural uh, lip shape that you have and if you want a plumper look you can always go for um a lip balm or even if you are applying lip gloss it looks that your lips is looking much bigger so never ever outline both your upper lips as well as the lower lips next one is applying compact powder all over the face so most of the indian women look like a clown when they apply a face powder or a compact powder all over their face and it is not really flattering trust me it is also proven that compact powder tends to emphasize your wrinkles so you should never ever apply compact powder all over your face you should always invest in loose powder and and literally throw your compact powder trust me just throw your compact powder use loose powder instead loose powder tends to be very light and it will not really emphasize your wrinkles if you have a really really oily skin loose powder will help you to dry out your skin and it will not clog your pores a lot of compact powder clog your pores and which is not really good for the skin so you should replace your compact powder with with loose powder next makeup mistake is keeping a small gap between your contour blush and highlight so this makeup mistake is done by every single one i believe whenever you are starting off with makeup you tend to gravitate towards contouring your face applying blush and then applying highlighter but you don't really know where to apply so always always make sure that your highlighter your blush and your bronzer is mixed together i am not telling you to mix all of the shade and put it on your cheeks no you should apply it, it in the correct positions but there shouldn't be any gap between them all of all of the product should look as if there is a shade on your cheeks and your face shouldn't look fake so moving on next makeup mistake is applying your makeup in a dim room or in artificial lighting this is done by every single one and i really cannot emphasize enough on this point everybody looks different in different lighting if you are applying makeup in a very dim light and when you are going out your makeup is going to look different if you are applying makeup on a dim lights obviously the colors are going to look different in a dim light and in a well lit room never ever apply makeup in a dim light always tend to apply makeup in natural light or in a room which has good lighting system so the last one but not the least is applying a single eyeshadow color on entire lid <sighs> this one is common in most of the people i've seen a lot of people applying only one eyeshadow color on entire lid but it is my personal opinion that it doesn't really look good on the eyes if you really want your eyes to look good and if you really want your eyeshadow to pop then you should always always apply a little crease color so that it emphasize your eye shape you should always apply a little bit of uh, darker brown color on the lid so that your eye looks bigger and then apply any any eyeshadow color on on top of the lid 
सो डोंट रियली गो विथ ओनली वन आई शेडो कलर लुक्स रियली चाइल्डिश एंड इट इट डजेंट लुक दैट एज इफ यू हैव डन अ प्रोफेशनल मेकअप सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू टेक योर मेकअप लुक टू अनादर लेवल ऑलवेज अप्लाई टू और इवन मोर आई शेडो कलर्स ऑन द लिट These are some of the makeup mistakes that people tend to do. Obviously, there are much more, but in a single video, it is not possible for me to tell you all the makeup mistakes. So, if you want me to come up with a series or come up with another video, I will definitely do one. So that's it for today's video, guys. I really hope that you have gained a little bit of knowledge from this video, and all your doubts are clear. If not, then definitely dm me on instagram i would be really really happy to reply you back and if you like this one don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification to get notified every time i come up with a new video and you can always follow me on instagram if you are not doing it already till then stay safe stay happy stay positive i will see you guys on my next one